In the previous story, we had seen this wrist AP and lateral views. To know what's wrong here, we need to understand the normal carpal alignment. Normal carpal joint seen on anterior posterior view has three gilulas carpal arcs. Line 1 or the arc 1 is a smooth curve around the proximal convexities of scaphoid, lunate and trachytorium bones. Line 2 or arc 2 is a smooth curve around distal concave surfaces of scaphoid, lunate and trachytorium bone. Line 3 or the third arc is a smooth curve that follows the proximal curvatures of capitate and hamate bones. This patient is a 26 year old male who had an RTA with x-rays showing classical Schoffer's fracture which is a fracture of radial styloid. Also seen is lunate avulsion fracture. You can see the gilulas lines or the arcs are broken and on the lateral view we can see lunate dislocation. This patient had follow up x-rays after the first and second months of the trauma. This condition went undiagnosed and he had severe wrist stiffness for which he was undergoing mobility exercises before being referred to me. He has to undergo a fusion surgery at this point which will severely restrict his wrist mobility forever. Do not overlook carpal alignment in any wrist trauma or injuries like Schoffer's fracture and posterior radial lip fracture which are usually high intensity and high chances of intercarpal injuries.